Sitting here, I think we all know at this hour of the morning that wanderlust is an urge to head off for parts unknown, sometimes for reasons unknown. The dictionary definition for that, which is undefinable, the human need for freedom. Maybe a better way to understand wanderlust is to meet somebody who is smitten by its call. Martha Teichner recently found such a person. Here is a very familiar story with a decidedly unfamiliar twist. Sunrise, Lake Livingston, Texas, 5,000 miles from Columbus, Ohio, by the route Steve Roberts took. I have no fixed deadline. I'm trying to make good time, but the emphasis is on the good, not the time. So it doesn't really matter where I go or when. Eight months ago, he sold his house and his car, and he set out across America on a funny-looking bicycle with a four-pound computer strapped on the back. It's difficult to imagine being satisfied with myself on an, on a venture like this if I wasn't somehow justifying it to the world by producing something. Yes, I need an 800 number, please. So Steve Roberts has never stopped working. He is a well-paid computer consultant and freelance author. He is writing his fourth book. All he needs is his computer, the secretary he pays back in Columbus, and a phone. In fact, from this payphone at this campground, I can get access to more information than in any single library in the world, just by hooking up this computer to the phone and typing the right codes. I can search the world's literature uh, in a matter of seconds. Uh, for example, if you wanted me to find out whether there's any correlation between cervical injury and stroke, it would take me about a minute to determine whether or not there was, and who determined that, and on what basis. Steve Roberts calls himself a high-tech nomad. He can ride 100 miles a day on a bicycle that lets him lean back as he pedals along. There's just the pure, pure sense of speed and, and exhilaration of, of, of going fast, of feeling the air around me and hearing birds and the wind rushing through my hair and past my helmet and so on. There, there's a lot of just pure physical, emotional, intellectual pleasure in, in all of those feelings. And a good deal more in the attention he's getting, just about all of it favorable. The only places where I've found any real hostility have been in or near cities. Uh, never out in the country, never in a small town. In small towns, I just, you know, pull up to anybody on the street and start a conversation. And I don't often feel comfortable doing that in a city. What kind of, what kind of motorcycle? That's not a motorcycle, it's a bicycle. <laughs> what does yeah. it do? <laughs> well, it's, a, it's, a, it's a comfortable bicycle. The, the questions that I get asked indicate the, uh, oh, I won't say ignorance, just a lack of awareness of what some of the new technology is. Almost everybody in Cold Spring, Texas, is going to see Steve on the front page of the Piney Woods Echo weekly newspaper, just because he stopped at Camone's restaurant for lunch one day. But then almost everybody in Cold Spring, Texas, had stopped there, too. And when he gets sick of the fuss, Steve Roberts packs up his computer, turns on his tape player, and rides away. kind of wonder laying awake at night before starting a, before selling your house and moving to a bicycle and you wonder if this is really just a fantasy is this really absurd but not at all you know, it does work and it's profitable and it's fun it does make it look good doesn't Beautiful. it Let's take another look at the wanderlust as we bid you goodbye for today. As the sun comes up in the morning, we wish you a very good day, and we'll wrap up the week with you tomorrow.